हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑनलाइन डिजिटल क्लास स्टडी विद दीपक बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लाइक द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आई डोंट फॉरगेट टू डू दैट नाउ विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट्स द नेम दो द नेम इज द लास्ट लेसन बट इन फैक्ट दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ योर इंग्लिश बुक Flamingo. Now we start with the author Alfonso Dudet, who was a French novelist and a short story writer. His actual experience of life at every social level and in the course of travels helped develop his natural gifts. So we start the chapter, and uh, <clears throat> I started for school very late that morning and was in great dread of scolding. So here the uh, boy whose name is Franz, he is uh, trying to get to his school. We, uh, as he has already mentioned that he started very late and he was in a fear of being scolded by Mr. Hammer, his English or classical English or uh, Latin teacher. He said that he would question us on participles and did not know the first word about them. For a moment, I thought of running away and spending the day out of doors. It was warm, so bright. The birds were chirping at the edge of the woods, and in the open field back of the sawmill, the Prussian soldiers were drilling. And in the open field back, the Prussian soldiers, sorry, were drilling. It was all much more tempting than the rule of parties. But I had the strength to resist and then hurried off to school. So this boy, whose name is Frank, he started late in the morning and he was trying to get to school as early as possible. The only fear that he had in his mind was for Mr. Hamel. He was afraid of Mr. Hamel. He was scared of Mr. Hamel because he was about to start a chapter, a lesson on participle. Participle, you all must have done in uh, your lower classes, class six, seven. and eight and so on and a moment he thought of spending the day out because it was a the fine day for him and uh, it was warm bright bird chirping at the edge of the woods woods means forest and in the open field he could uh, see the prussian prussian means german they were doing the drills means march past so it was all very tempting it was all very attracting provoking him not to go to school but he said that he had this ability to control himself to resist and that's why he ignored all these things and moved towards this school so ek bachcha hai yahan pe jiska naam hai france wo aaj usne der se start kiya school jaane ke liye usko der ho rahi thi ab wo jaldi jaldi school pahunchna chahta tha स्कूल पहुंचना चाहता था लेकिन एक मन में भय भी था कि स्कूल में आज मिस्टर हैमर जो उसके टीचर थे वो आज पार्टिसिपल्स की क्लास लेने वाले थे पार्टिसिपल्स का उसको पहला अक्षर भी नहीं मालूम था और वो सोच रहा था मेरा स्कूल में क्या होगा वो इसी सोच विचार में बढ़ता जाता है तो आज उसको लगता है स्कूल ना जाया जाए क्योंकि मौसम बहुत अच्छा था सुहावना था धूप थी सुनहरा सुनहरी किरणें थी सूरज की और चिड़िया जो थी वो अपने जंगलों के बाहर चहचहा रही थी तो उसको हर तरीके से एक तरीके से वो सारी चीज़ें उसको लुभा रही थी मन को भा रही थी और वो चाहता तो स्कूल आज छुट्टी कर सकता था स्कूल बिना जाए भी रह सकता था लेकिन वो अपने आप को कंट्रोल कर सकता था उसके अंदर इतनी शक्ति थी कि अपने हम लोग के साथ बहुत बार ऐसा होता है और हम लोग इन चीज़ों को ध्यान नहीं देते हैं और वो करने लगते हैं जो कि करना सही नहीं होता लेकिन उसने वही किया वो स्कूल की तरफ चलने लगा उसने अब इस विचार को त्यागा अपने जो चीज़ें उसको लुभा रही थी उन पर ध्यान देना बंद किया और स्कूल की तरफ बढ़ चला यूजुअली वन स्कूल बिगेन देर वॉज अ ग्रेट बासल विच कुड बी हर्ड आउट इन द स्ट्रीट द ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग वर डेस्क लेसन रिपीटेड इन यूनिसम वेरी लाउड विद हैंड्स ओवर ईयर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर एंड द टीचर्स ग्रेट रूल ऑफ रैपिंग ऑन द टेबल Yeah, usually what happens in our school also when we go to school, when you people go to school, it's a uh, lot of noise there. It's a lot of confusion, lot of noise, uh, and uh, excited activities there. And uh, children open their desks, close their desks. So this, this is some a very usual scene in the schools. 
and the lesson they repeat the children repeat the lesson one after the other and uh, all at once as well so uh, and many times it happens to you uh, that you need to put your hand around your ears to listen to that something uh, very nicely it, it, you can't be very attentive when it's a lot of noise in the class so to concentrate on, on the lesson you need to uh, just shut the voice coming into your ears but there wasn't anything of that that sort today when he went to school there it was as i said it was a usual now this is unusual for him everything was so still i had counted on the commotion to get to my desk without being seen so he counted how long will it take for him to go to his seat his allotted seat but of course that day, everything had to be quiet as sunday morning sunday morning is a church day for the christians and everything uh, and the schools are closed so everything was uh, quiet as sunday morning through the windows i saw my classmate already in the places so through the window he uh, tried to peep through the window and he saw his uh, classmates uh, already pleased they all were all punctual and he was late and uh, mr hamel walking up and down with this terrible ruler he had a uh, terrible ruler terrible could because uh, it may be uh, the ruler could be of iron uh, an iron ruler or so on and he was having in his arm i had to open the door and go in before everybody so his place could be at the back at the last seat and he had to go in front of others and he felt ashamed he felt uh, shy to do so he felt ashamed embarrassed to do so because everybody when it, it happens generally it happens when everybody is placed and you have to make your way uh, throughout uh, in from in between them it's the it is sort of a feeling you that that you feel embarrassed that you are the only one late in the class other were punctual and they all are seated uh, comfortably you can imagine how blushed and how frightened he was he was blushed because he had done something wrong and frightened because he hasn't learned uh, the rules of participles but nothing happened mr hammer saw me and very said very kindly go to your place quickly little friend we are beginning without you so again uh, adding to that uh, unusual uh, atmosphere the environment there mr hammer to then uh, said nothing to him and in very polite way he said go to your place quickly little friends we are beginning we were beginning without you we were about to start the lesson without you so ab jab school mein generally hota hai ki jis din school खुलता है या फिर स्कूल के समय में स्कूल में बहुत सारी आवाजें आती रहती हैं बच्चे को कई बार अपने कानों पे हाथ लगाना पड़ता है ये सुनने के लिए कि टीचर क्या पढ़ा रही है और आज ऐसा कुछ नहीं था आज सब कुछ शांत था सब कुछ हर जगह सब 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 बच्चे चुपचाप बैठे थे और फ्रेंस ने विंडो से देखा कि सारे बच्चे अपनी सीट पर बैठे हुए थे और मिस्टर हैमल क्लास में चहलकदमी कर रहे थे इधर से उधर जा रहे थे उनके हाथ में वही एक आयरन का लोहे का रूलर था शायद इसी से बच्चों को सजा देते हो पीटते होंगे और इसने दरवाज़ा खोला और सब बच्चों के बीच से निकलता हुआ ये अपनी सीट पे पहुंचा ये बहुत ही शर्मनाक वाक्य था इसके लिए चूँकि सारे बच्चे अपनी सीट पर पहले से बैठे थे और दूसरी बात इसको डर भी था कि आज मिस्टर हैमल सब पूरी कक्षा के सामने इससे पाकिस्तान के रूल्स पूछेंगे जो कि इसको बिल्कुल नहीं आते थे आई जम टू वर द बेंच एंड सेट डाउन एट माई डेस्क वो अपनी कुर्सी पे कूद के बैठ जाता है नॉट टिल देन वेन आई हैव टू गॉट अ लिटल ओवर माई फ्राइड एंड आई डिड आई सी दैट आई टीचर्स हैव ऑन इज ब्यूटिफुल ग्रीन कोट हिज फिल्ड शर्ट एंड द लिटल ब्लैक सिल्क कैप ऑल एम्ब्रॉयडेड दैट ही नेवर वो एक्सेप्ट ऑन इंस्पेक्शन एंड द प्राइज डे so when he jumped and sat on his bench he saw that uh, and he was he just controlled himself he regained himself and he had to look at his teacher who was uh, wearing his beautiful green coat and his a uh, frilled shirt the shirt which was having a frill here and the little black silk cap he was wearing a silk cap on his head and uh, so the, that was something extraordinary for him that was something very different for him because he used to wear this thing when it was uh, uh inspection day when he went for some inspection or it was a prize day ab wo apni seat pe baithta hai ab wo thoda sa apne dar se nijat paata hai aur usko dekhta hu apne teacher ki taraf jo green color ke hare rang ka coat pehne hain aur ek frill dar kameez pehne hue hain aur unhone kaale rang ki silk ki topi bhi lagayi hui hai jis pe embroidery hui hai embroidery jo kadai hoti hai अब वो आश्चर्यचकित ये रह जाता है कि ऐसा तो मिस्टर हैमल कभी नहीं करते थे ऐसा वो कभी करते थे जिस दिन कोई पुरस्कार वितरण होता है या कहीं पे वो 
निरीक्षण करने जाते थे ऐसा वो रोजाना नहीं करते थे विसाइन द होल स्कूल सीम टू स्ट्रेंज एंड सोलम बट द थिंग एट सरप्राइज द मोस्ट वॉज टू सी ऑन द बैक बेंचेज दैट वर ऑलवेज दैट वर ऑलवेज एम टी द विलेज पीपल सिटिंग क्वाइटली लाइक आर सेल ओल्ड हॉसल विद थ्री कॉर्नर है एंड द फॉर्मर मेयर द फॉर्मर पोस्ट मास्टर एंड द सेवर अदर डिसाइड एवरीबडी लुक सैट एंड हॉसल हैड एवरीबडी लुक सैट एंड हॉसल हैड ब्रॉट एन ओल्ड प्राइमर थम एट द एजेस एंड ही हेल्प इट ओपन ऑन इज नीज विद इज ग्रेट स्पेक्टिकल्स Lying across the pages, so everything uh, was today. Everything was uh, different. It was an unusual scene for him, and uh, the most uh, surprising thing for him was that, uh, <clears throat> which was very serious and strange for him, was that the people, the back benches, which were always empty, they were vacant. They were never occupied by the students, and they were vacant today. And sorry, they were occupied today, and they were who had occupied those uh, places, the benches, the old bosser is the name. and uh, he was uh, wearing his three cornered hat it's a sort of a hat with has having three corners and uh, the former mayor the previous mayor of that place the former postmaster means the previous postmaster former means jo pehle kabhi raha ho and the several others and uh, uh, some other elderly people of the town were sitting at the back everybody looked sad everybody was looking sad and hosser mr hosser had bought uh, brought an old primer primer is an elementary starting book of alphabet so he was having that uh, book in his hand thumbed me soil at the edges so the pages were torn at the edges and he held it open on his knees he kept the book open on his knees and he was wearing great means great means big spectacles and uh, which were, was uh, the spectacles were lying on the uh, those pages सो so, अब उसके लिए आश्चर्य की बात ये थी अब तक वो स्कूल में आया तब से उसे आश्चर्य ही मिलते जा रहे हैं सबसे बड़ा आश्चर्य था पहले क्लास में कोई आवाज नहीं थी उसके बाद मिस्टर हॉस हैमल ने आपसे कुछ कहा नहीं दूसरी बात क्लास में उसने देखा मिस्टर हैमल अपने सबसे अच्छे कपड़े पहने हैं फिर उसने देखा मिस्टर हेमल की कक्षा में आज जो पीछे की जो कुछ बेंचेज होती थी जो हमेशा खाली रहती थी आज वो भरी हुई है और वो बच्चों से नहीं भरी हुई है बल्कि गांव के जो बुजुर्ग थे बूढ़े लोग थे जिनमें से मिस्टर हॉस थे और जो कि एक तीन कोने वाला कैप लगाए थे और एक भूतपूर्व मेयर भूतपूर्व पोस्ट मास्टर और दूसरे अन्य लोग भी वहां पे बैठे हुए थे और सारे लोग बहुत उदास थे उसका क्या कारण था उसको अभी तक नहीं मालूम पड़ा था और वो मिस्टर जो हॉसर थे वो तो एक प्राइमर लाए थे प्राइमर एक ऐसी किताब होती है जो आपने अपने बचपन में पी पी जी या के जी में पढ़ी होगी जिसमें अल्फाबेट्स की स्टार्टिंग अल्फाबेट्स होते हैं ए बी सी डी वगैरह वो जिस जो जिससे यानी यानी कि वो लोग अनपढ़ थे जो पीछे बैठे थे उन्होंने ठीक से पढ़ाई नहीं की थी और वो अब अपनी पढ़ाई स्टार्ट करने वाले थे वन आर वंडरिंग अबाउट इट ऑल मिस्टर हैमल माउंटेड इज चेयर एंड इन द सेम ग्रेव एंड जेंटल टोन विच ही हैड यूज टू मी से my children this is the last lesson i shall give you the order has come from berlin berlin the capital of germany germany to teach only german in the schools of alsace and lorraine so alsace you will find people with all different pronunciation the right pronunciation uh, pronunciation for this uh, town or the city is alsace and people uh, many people call it alsace as well but it is alsace and lorraine so these are the two Uh, places where this order comes. Now the question arises: Why only these two places? Now why not the entire France? So Alsace is a historical region in the northeastern part of France, and it is a mixed culture of German and France. Germany and France are mixed culture. That's why Alsace. Why Lorraine? It's a former region in the northeast France, and it has a border with Germany. That's why these two places were selected by the. Uh, officials who were there at berlin berlin the capital of germany and they said that this now no more uh, french language and now german german language will be taught in these two places the new master comes tomorrow this is your last friends lesson i want you to be very attentive what a thunderclap means what a shock it was a big shock these words were to me me means for to france Oh, the wretches that were what they had put up on the town hall. Now, 
while uh, he was wondering he was pondering what is happening there mr hamel just uh, climbed uh, on his chair and he started uh, uh, addressing those who all were present there and his voice was very serious as and in it and it was very gentle as well as he had talked to um, uh, frank earlier and he said that today my children this is the last lesson as an order has come from berlin berlin as i told you the capital of germany that uh, in the two places the schools of alsas and lorraine only german will be taught no more french so this is a way if you uh, become enslaved to a country this is a way the other country the first thing the other country people do is to make the people speak in not in their own mother tongue to speak in the language of their country means the country who uh, the country which has enslaved these uh, people up mr jo हेमल थे उन्होंने अपनी कुर्सी पे चढ़े और उन्होंने कुर्सी पे बैठते ही बड़ी सीरियस आवाज में कहा उनकी आवाज क्लियर थी और बहुत ही स्पष्ट थी उन्होंने कहा कि मेरे बच्चों आज ये लास्ट लेसन है आज के बाद हम लोग फ्रेंच भाषा का कोई भी लेसन नहीं पढ़ेगा कल एक नया अध्यापक आ जाएगा नया टीचर आ जाएगा जो तुम लोग को जर्मन भाषा पढ़ाएगा क्योंकि बर्लिन से ऑर्डर आया है कि एल्सस और लॉरिन में दो जो जगह पे स्कूल है सारे उनमें केवल जर्मन भाषा पढ़ाई जाएगी तो ये एक तरीका होता है किसी भी चीज को अब जब कोई देश दूसरे देश पे कब्जा करता है तो सबसे पहले वो चाहता है कि वहां की मातृभाषा को खत्म कर दे और वहां के सारे लोग उस भाषा में बोलने लगे जिस भाषा में जिस देश ने कब्जा किया होता है वहां के लोग बोलते हैं इससे बहुत सारे प्लान नहीं बन पाते बहुत सारे षड्यंत्र नहीं बन पाते हैं और उन लोगों को ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को अपने काम में ले लेते हैं जो उनकी ही भाषा बोलते हैं अब इट वो एक थंडर क्लैप था एक शॉकिंग न्यूज थी स्पेशली फ्रेंड के लिए और उसको लगा कि जो लोग कितने अनफॉर्चुनेट हैं कितने अनफॉर्चुनेट ये लोग हैं कितने बदकिस्मत हैं जो लोग यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं अब उसको ये भी याद आया कि जब वो स्कूल आ रहा था तो टाउन हॉल के पास जो बुलेटिन बोर्ड पे नोटिस लिखा हुआ था जिसको उसने पढ़ने में कोई रुचि नहीं ली थी जहाँ पे बहुत सी भीड़ लगी हुई थी उस पर यही नोटिस लिखा होगा क्योंकि उस नोटिस पे हमेशा से ही खराबी खबर आती थी अच्छी खबर कभी खबरें कभी नहीं आती थी माई लास्ट फ्रेंच लेसन वाई आई हार्डली न्यू हाउ टू राइट आई शुड नेवर लर्न एनी मोर अब ही थिंकिंग दैट दिस वॉज वॉज वुड बी इज लास्ट लेसन एंड ही नेवर गेट अ चांस टू लर्न हिज ओन लैंग्वेज आई मस्ट स्टॉप देर देन सो अगेन इज थिंकिंग ऑन ट्रेन इज वर्ड that uh, this uh, today is the last lesson oh how sorry i was for not learning my lessons for seeking birds egg or going sliding on the sar so now he is thinking he is blaming himself for not uh, learning his language and uh, for the sake of uh, uh, seeking birds egg he was used to look at the birds egg going to sliding on the sar sar is a river in france france and uh, the books always appeared to be very heavy to him and it, the books appeared to be a sort of a nuisance for him and he always thought the books were too heavy to carry especially his grammar and history books my grammar and my history of the saints history of the saints history is uh, uh, according to history is full of saints were old friends now and i could not give up and they had become his old friend in the duration of time so long they have been with him that he consider them as, them as his old friends so his history of saints and grammar were his old friends and mr hamel to the idea that he was going away i should never see him again made me forget all about his ruler and how cranky he was so then he started thinking about uh, mr hamel who was his teacher now he thought about mr hamel that it was his last day even he was going away no no more mr hamel no more participle no more grammar lessons and uh, suddenly he forgot all, all everything he was about mr hamel his ruler who was a, a, he had mentioned it as a terrible ruler earlier and how strange he was how strict he was ab sab bacche ab jo frank tha wo soch raha tha ki ab usko kabhi aage aaj aaj ke baad uh, french bhasha padhne ko nahi milegi german padhne ko milegi jo ki usko bilkul aati nahi thi अब वो अपने आप को जिम्मेदार मान रहा है कि उसने अपने कारण ही वो चिड़ियों के घोसले में उनके अंडे ढूंढता था वो रिवर सार पे नदी पे तैरना तैरने चला जाता था बुक्स 
हमेशा उसको एक बहुत बड़ा बर्डन लगती थी और न्यूसेंस लगती तो उसको लगता था बुक्स बकवास है इनको पढ़ने से क्या होगा और अब ये सारी चीज़ें उसके पास से दूर हो रही हैं अब वो चीज़ें सब चीज़ें नहीं पढ़ेगा और उसने अचानक मिस्टर हैमर के लिए भी सोचा जो कि अब उसे दोबारा कभी नहीं दिखाई पड़ेंगे आज उनका ये लास्ट लेसन होगा और वो भूल गया उनके उस रूलर के बारे में स्केल के बारे में उस छड़ी के बारे में जिससे वो सजा देते थे और वो ये भी वो भूल गया कि वो कितने सख्त थे कितने ज़्यादा बैड टेम्पर्ड थे तो ये सारी बातें भूल गया किस लिए भूल गया क्योंकि उसको दुख था उसके दुख ने उसके सारी बातों पे कब्जा कर लिया उसका दुख इतना विशाल था जिसने की सब बातों को उसको कवर कर लिया हुआ मैन इट वॉज इन ऑनर ऑफ द लास्ट लेसन दैट ही पुट ऑन इज फाइन संडे क्लोथ एंड नाउ आई अंडरस्टूड वाई द ओल मैन ऑफ द विलेज वॉज सिटिंग दैट इन द बैक ऑफ द रूम इट वॉज बिकॉज देर वॉज सॉरी टू दैट दे हैड नॉट गॉन टू स्कूल मोर इट वॉज द वे ऑफ थैंकिंग अ मास्टर फॉर इज फोर्टी ईयर्स फोर्टी ईयर्स of faithful service and showing the respect for the country that was theirs no more so now he considered mr hamel as a poor man a poor doesn't mean that he was poor he lacked money means uh, it was his last lesson and uh, it was his honor because of the honor how honored he felt to take the last lesson also that he had uh, his uh, he had put on his uh, fine sunday clothes and why and he understood the reason why the old people were at the sitting at the back and as they were uh, very sorry for wasting their time because they also didn't go to school at all and that was their way to thank the teacher for his sincere faithful service of 40 years 40 years is a big time a big duration if you multiply these uh, years with 365 days you'll have a really big number and this was his uh, and he showed his respect toward his country toward his language toward his mother tongue and his shosh toward his social surrounding as well ab usko laga ki poor mr hamel jo the wo gareeb nahi the lekin unko usne bechara bechara mana wo aaj sir apne sabse behtareen kapde pehen ke aaye the jo ki sunday ke church day pe pehnte the ab to wo aur kyunki aaj aur usko ye bhi samajh mein aaya kyunki aaj wo usko apna aapri lesson de rahe the और जो गांव के बुजुर्ग पीछे बैठे थे इसके पास भी एक कारण था कि वो शायद यही उनका तरीका था आज वो आखिरी दिन आए थे वो इस तरीके से मिस्टर हैमल को धन्यवाद देना चाहते थे उनका रिगार्ड करना चाहते थे कि जो उन्होंने 40 साल तक जिस तरह से देश की सेवा करी और अपनी भाषा की मर्यादा रखी तो और अपने एक इट्स अ नोबल प्रोफेशन एज वेल टीचिंग और उसका नो, उनका ये नोबल महान कार्य कर रहे थे वो आप बच्चों शायद इस बात को नहीं जानते हैं टीचर्स डू अ नोबल प्रोफेशन वो एक महान कार्य करते हैं बहुत से जो इंजीनियर्स डॉक्टर्स सोल्जर्स इवन प्रेसिडेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनते हैं वो भी किसी ना किसी से पढ़ के ही आते हैं वाई वॉज थिंकिंग ऑफ ऑल दिस आई हर्ड माई नेम कॉल इट वॉज माई टर्न टू रिसाइट वॉट वुड आई नॉट हैव गिवेन टू बी एबल टू से दैट ड्रेडफुल रूल सो नो इट वॉज हिज कॉल कॉल तो इट हिज नेम वॉज कॉल इट थॉट दैट he could have given anything in return of uh, if he had learned the things properly so he was ready to pay whatever he had in return of the rules of participle but unfortunately you can't uh, pay and learn education is not of that sort of a thing it's not a commodity that you will pay and you will learn it very loud and clear and without any mistake so he thought that if he could have done it and he could have uh, Uh, told the teacher very loudly and very clearly without any mistake the rules of the participles but unfortunately he wasted all his time as many students waste their time but i got mixed up on the first word and i stood there holding on my to my desk my heart beating not daring to look up but he stammered he struggled with his first word only and that is very common when you don't study the whole year the whole time then at uh, the last moment you need to you, you definitely you struggle only there is no other thing left with you and he was looking down he never had the courage to look at other uh, students of the class or to look at the eyes of his teacher ab usne socha ki jab uska uska number aaya bolne ka wo ruk gaya usko laga ki ab usko bolna padega wo dar ke khada hua usko wo ab aaj uske paas jo kuch bhi tha wo dena chahta tha is कार के बदले कि वो बिना रुके बिल्कुल स्पष्ट भाषा में अपनी सारी बातें 
बोल जाए लेकिन जब उसने पढ़ा ही नहीं था तो वो कैसे बोल सकता था और वो लड़फड़ा गया उसकी जुमा लड़फड़ा गई और वो चुपचाप खड़ा अपने सर नीचे झुकाए खड़ा रहा उसके अंदर हिम्मत नहीं थी अपने टीचर की तरफ देखने के लिए अध्यापक की तरफ देखने की या बच्चों की तरफ देखने के आई हर्ड मिस्टर हेमल से टू मी आई वॉन्ट स्कूल यू टू फ्रेंड यू मस्ट फील बैड इनफ सी हाउ इट इज एवरी डे वी हैव सेट टू आर सर वाह आई हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम आई विल लर्न इट टूमोरो एंड नाउ यू सी वेर वी हैव कम आउट आह दैट द ग्रेट ट्रबल विद एल्सेस शी पुट्स ऑफ लर्निंग टिल टूमोरो नाउ दीज फेलोज आउट देयर विल हैव द राइट टू से टू यू हाउ इज इट यू प्रिटेंडेड टू बी अ फ्रेंचमैन एंड येट यू कैन नीड अ स्पीक नॉ राइट योर ओन लैंग्वेज But you are not the worst, poor little friend. We all, we have all a great deal to reproach ourselves with. So, it was Mr. Hamel's turn now. Mr. Hamel said that uh, don't. Uh, I am not going to scold, as I have done it uh, many a times before. I am not going to scold you today, and uh, I know you are feeling very bad. You are feeling embarrassed. and see it is our fault that we keep on saying that we i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow and uh, re- without remembering without realizing that today is that tomorrow okay which we said yesterday and uh, now the and is that this is not the problem with you the entire city and the entire town of alsas is uh, suffering from the, the the same thing and because the entire she puts me she is for Alsace, as the the uh, and the people of the entire town and city, they say that we will do it tomorrow. And now, see, the people are going to ask you about your identity, and you'll say, "I am a French," and they'll ask you that you don't know your language. Either you can speak, nor you can write. So, how can you be a French, uh, a person, a resident of France, or a Frenchman? And he said that you are not the worst. that you are not the only one you are not the only the, the only culprit here others we have a lot of people a number of people a numerous people who are going to blame themselves for not studying not uh, getting a proper education so yahan pe mr hamel ne usko kaha main aaj tumhe daatunga nahi friend kyunki tum akele nahi ho tum hum log sare log jitne bhi alsas mein rehte hain sare log hamesha आगे काम बढ़ाते रहते हैं कहते हैं कल करेंगे कल करेंगे कल करेंगे और यहाँ पर उसने शी एल्सेस के लिए यूज किया कि यहाँ के लोग हमेशा कहते हैं कल करेंगे वो कल जो आज आज बन गया है वो हम लोग ये कभी नहीं ध्यान दे पाते हैं और सोचो जब लोग तुमसे पूछेंगे तुम्हारी पहचान के लिए तुम कहोगे मैं फ्रांस का रहने हूँ निवासी हूँ तो खसी उड़ाएंगे तुम्हारे कि तुम तो ना फ्रेंच भाषा बोल पाते हो ना लिख पाते हो और परेशान मत हो तुम अकेले ऐसे नहीं यहाँ पे बहुत से लोग ऐसे हैं जो ऐसा नहीं कर पाते हैं योर पेरेंट्स वर नॉट एंशियस इनफ टू हैव यू लर्न ही सेड दैट इवन योर पेरेंट्स आर नॉट एंशियस दे दे प्रेफर टू पुट यू टू वर्क ऑन अ फार्म और एट द मिल्स सो एज टू हैव अ लिटिल मोर मनी सो ही ब्लेम द पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो ही ब्लेम द पेरेंट्स ऑफ द दिस स्टूडेंट दैट दे प्रेफर दैट द चिल्ड्रन शुड गो टू वर्क ऑन अ फार्म और मिल्स टू ऑन मोर मनी इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू अ स्कूल and i and he was your this show that he was an honest person he blamed himself as well i have been to blame also have i not often sent you to water my flowers instead of learning your lessons and when i wanted to go fishing i did i not just give you a holiday ab yahan pe he said that uh, even i am to be blamed that at times i asked you to water my plants and when i was not in a mood of teaching i asked you and i wanted to go for fishing i gave you a off so even i am to blame means you are to be blamed that you all didn't uh, pay attention towards your study your parents preferred uh, you all to go and work in your in the farms or the mills to earn more money and even i am to be blamed because many a times so even i uh, ask you all to leave the class go for, uh, and uh, water the plant and when i have to go to do fishing i ask you to take a days off to yahan to unka tumhare parents bhi zimmedar hain aur tum bhi zimmedar ho बच्चों को जिम्मेदार पहले कह चुके हैं तुम्हारे पेरेंट्स की जिम्मेदार हैं जो ज्यादा प्राथमिकता इस बात की देते थे कि तुम लोग अब उनके फार्म्स पे या मिल्स पे काम करो ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा पैसा मिले और 
मैं भी जिम्मेदार हूँ उन्होंने अपने आप को भी जिम्मेदार कराया कि मैं जिम्मेदार हूँ क्योंकि मैंने कई बार तुम लोग को कहा मेरे पेड़ों पर पे पानी डाल पेड़ों में पानी डाल दो और कभी मुझे मछली पकड़ने जाना होता तो मैं तुम्हें छुट्टियाँ दे देता था तो इस तरीके से उन्होंने अपने आप को भी रिस्पॉन्सिबल कर दिया ये बताता है कि वो एक ऑनेस्ट आदमी थे Then from one thing to another, Mr. Hamel went on to talk to the of the French language, saying that it was the most beautiful language in the world. So he just uh, started uh, when he started speaking, he moved from one thing to the other, and he told the people that French was the most beautiful language. It happens. Even we feel that our mother tongue is the, uh, the most beautiful language of the world, and he had the same feeling. This uh, uh, this shows that he was a patriotic. that he said that our language the french language is uh, one of the most beautiful language in the world not one of the most the most beautiful the clearest it's very clear the most logical it has it is it has reasons it has some logic also but we must guard it among us and never forget it so we we need to save it now it was in danger because the germans have ordered that no more French there, so it be it's it's in danger. We need to save it, and how can we save it? We need to learn it and pass it to the next generation. Because when a people are enslaved, this is what I told you in the beginning. The people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to their language. It is as if they had the key to the prison. So if the people are enslaved, and they can only consider themselves free if they have a command over the language. So it is a sort of a key to the prison. Then he opened a grammar and read us a lesson. Then he opened a grammar book and read, started reading the lesson. I was amazed, amazed, amazed is a big word here. Amazed, he was surprised. So he surprised, he uh, was astonished, surprised to see how well I understood. So why was he surprised? That he was understanding everything in a very bad, good way earlier. And what's the reason for it? The reason for it that he, today he was attentive. He had that uh, thought that it was the last lesson. Okay, when you are in a uh, like a fear of losing something, you are very attentive. So that was the case with him. He was very attentive with this uh, with this lesson today. That was he was able to understand the things properly. All he said seemed too easy, so easy I think. So everything what he said appeared very easy to him. I think too that I had never listened, and he admits here, and he admitted the fact that he had never listened to the things so carefully. And it's the same with you all, all, all the children. when you are attentive when you want that this is the will this is uh, the wish this is what you feel from inside the voice from your inside uh, says that you need to be attentive then only you can be attentive remember you can uh, take a horse to the river but you cannot make a horse drink water so if you are attentive if you want to do that then only you can do the other things and that he had never explained everything with so much patience and for mr hamel also that he was explaining everything he had a lot of patience today which he had not sh- shown earlier it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all he knew before going away it seemed that he was uh, trying to pour out all his experience all what he had in uh, with him to the children today because uh, after uh, that that particular day there won't be any french lessons and uh, he want they will not be required there to put to so he was trying to come out of his skin and give out what all he had to put it all into a head at one stroke so aaj usko lag raha tha ki mr hamel jo the wo french bhasha bahut achhi tarah se padha rahe the mr hamel ne ek bataya unko ki france ki jo bhasha hai french bhasha wo duniya ki sabse achhi bhasha hai aisa hum log ko bhi lagta hai ki hamari bhasha duniya ki sabse achhi bhasha hai aur jo bhi desh bhakt hai unko aisa lagna chahiye bilkul lazimi baat hai aur is bhasha ye bhasha bahut spasht hai isme ek logic hai reason hai aur हम लोग को इस भाषा को बचाना चाहिए बचाना चाहिए क्योंकि ये भाषा अब एक तरह से कैद में हो गई उसको कैद कर लिया गया उस पर प्रतिबंध लगा दिया गया इसको पढ़ाई नहीं जाएगी अब इस भाषा को हम आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं तब बढ़ा सकते हैं जब हमें आती होगी हमें नहीं आएगी तो हम कैसे आगे बढ़ाएंगे और ये हर कैद की हर ताले की चाबी है उन्होंने ग्रामर बुक पढ़ा खोली और पढ़ाने लगे आज फ्रेंड्स को बड़ा आश्चर्य हो रहा था क्योंकि इसको सारी बात बातें अच्छी तरह समझ में आ रही थी जो पढ़ाई जा रही थी आश्चर्य क्यों था क्योंकि इसने कभी पहले इतने ध्यान से पढ़ाई करी ही नहीं थी और आज इसने बहुत ध्यान से पढ़ाई करी थी और मिस्टर हेमल भी आज बहुत धैर्य से बहुत ही शांत मन से पढ़ा रहे थे शायद वो आज अपने अंदर जो कुछ भी था जो उनका अनुभव था जो उनका ज्ञान था वो सब कुछ बच्चों को दे देना चाहते थे क्योंकि आज के बाद उसको रखने से कोई फायदा नहीं होने वाला था उस नॉलेज को रख लेने से कुछ मिलना नहीं था उनको 
After the grammar, we had a lesson in writing. That day, Mr. Hamel had new copies for us, written in a beautiful round hand. France, Alsace, France, Alsace. They looked like little flags floating everywhere in the classroom, hung from the rod at the top of our desk. So after that grammar lesson, he gave, gave them a lesson in writing and he asked the children to open the new copies. Today, new copies also, okay? Now, the new copies, uh, they will be of no use. And in which it was written in a beautiful round uh, hand, France, Alsace, France, Alsace. So this was written and they, need, they were supposed to copy that down. And it appeared that it, they were like the flags which were like, like uh, floating everywhere in the entire class. It was uh, the uh, letters that appeared so beautiful to him. You ought to have seen how everyone set to work. So it was a very like a surprising thing that today nobody was uh, looking here and there as uh, you children do, they're trying to look out of the window, you get disturbed uh, and dis uh, get distracted very easily. And today nobody was getting distracted, no disturbance at all in the class. Uh, you ought and uh, everything was quiet. You the only sound was the scratching of the pens. So the the way they were writing with the pens, uh, uh, scratching with the pens on the paper, that was the only noise which could be heard there. Once some beetles flew in and some beetles uh, flew in bleep, uh, and uh, generally what happens, a beetle or uh, a butterfly is in the class, the, the children they leave their benches, they start running after the butterfly. This is a, something very usual if you see in the schools. But today nobody paid attention to them. So today nobody was worried about them, they were more worried about their work, they were more worried about uh, their teacher, they were more worried about to learn as much as they could on that particular day. Not even the littlest one. So they were those who were very small, they also didn't pay heed to that. They were even not a, like attracted toward the butterfly or the beetles who which were there, who were right on tracing the fish hooks and they were just tracing the fish hooks as if that was French too. And they, it appeared even that was French. As it appeared that was French too means if it, French was like, uh, now it has become really very expensive, very like uh, something very important for them, essential. And when you, if something is, uh, is very essential for you, for you, you don't uh, waste anything from that. And those uh, fish appeared as it was French for them. On the roof, the pigeon cook very low, cook is the sound made by the prison. And I thought to myself, will they make them sing in German, even the pigeon? So he thought that, uh, are they going to make the pigeons also uh, sing in German language? So, up here, he is thinking what he should do and how he Mr. Hamel gave him a new copy. He also wrote on the new copies that beautiful round words were French, Alsac, French, Alsac. And the Akshar was like the Jhande of Numa, he was standing in the Akshar. और आज कोई बच्चा इधर उधर नहीं देख रहा था कोई बच्चा परेशान नहीं था सब लोग आराम से बैठे थे उसमें कॉपी पे लिखने की आवाज भी आ रही थी और कोई आवाज नहीं आ रही थी कुछ बीटल्स उड़ के आती हैं क्लास में बीटल्स को आप जो बटरफ्लाइज की तरह होती हैं और ये उड़ के आती हैं कोई ध्यान नहीं देता है जो छोटे छोटे बच्चा भी उस पर ध्यान नहीं देता और सब लोग अपने काम को ऐसे कर रहे होते हैं जैसे कि आज वो उसी वो ही उनका जीवन हो और वो उस जीवन को जीना चाहते हो बाहर पिजेंस बैठे थे वो पिजेंस को देख रहा है पिजेंस को देखते हुए वो सोचता है कि जो कबूतर बैठे हैं कि क्या ये उनको भी जर्मन भाषा में बुलवाएंगे अब ये उसकी सोच है ये यहाँ पे दिखाते हैं उसकी मासूमियत तो इतना मासूम है उसको लग रहा है जब सबको कब्जे में ले लिया तो क्या जानवर और जो पक्षी पशु पक्षी है इन ये भी क्या उस भाषा में ले लेंगे ये उसका बचपना है Whenever I looked up from my writing, I saw Mr. Hamel sitting motionless in his chair and gazing first at one thing, then at another, as if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked in that little school. Up now he looked at Mr. Hamel. Whenever he looked up, he saw Mr. Hamel. He was uh, looking in a, fixed, in a fixed way at each and everything. That he wanted to keep everything. He wanted to trace everything to his mind because he's not going to have a look at these things after to this day. Sam. Fancy. For 40 years he had been there in the same place with his garden outside the window. 40 years he had been there at the same place with his garden outside his uh, window and his class in front of him. So 40 years he had been there as I told you in the beginning 
uh, only the desk and the benches had been uh, worn smooth the walnut trees and the garden so everything had changed uh, so sorry everything was same the walnut trees have grown big the gardens uh, was taller and the this uh, benches and tables were worn out because of the, the children use these things they become worn out rest everything was fine so he was thinking why is looking at the, the same things again and again and the hop vine hop vine is a climber he had planted himself twin about the windows of the room with the climber which he had planted has started twinning round the window of the room how it must have broken his heart to leave it all who a man to hear his sister अब वो सोच रहा है देख रहा है जब भी उसने अपने काम से मन हट अपना सर उठाता है देखता है कि मिस्टर हैमल हर चीज को बहुत गौर से देख रहे हैं वो ऐसे देख रहे हैं जैसे हर चीज को अपने मन में बसा देना चाहते हो और कभी खत्म नहीं होने देना चाहते हो उसको वो देखता है कि इतने सालों में सारी चीजें जो लगभग सेम थी बस बाहर पेड़ बढ़ गए गार्डन का साइज बढ़ गया है और जो उसने बेल लगाई थी वो धीरे धीरे उनकी विंडो पे आ गई है और उसको लगता है कि मिस्टर वो मिस्टर हैमल की कंडीशन समझना चाहता है मिस्टर हैमल को कैसा लग रहा होगा इतने साल तक जब मिस्टर हैमल जिस जगह काम कर रहा है उस जगह को छोड़ के जा रहे हैं बट ही हैड द करेज टू हियर एवरी लेसन टू द वेरी लास्ट ही वॉज द करेज ही करेज इन आर टू ही वॉज लिस्निंग टू एवरी लेसन टू द लास्ट हर लेसन को आप तक सुन रहे थे आफ्टर राइटिंग वी हैड लेसन इन हिस्ट्री एंड देन द बेबीज चैंटेड द बाबा बूबू एंड सो ऑन so after the history lesson they had a lesson for the babies means the children of all age group were sitting in the same class har umr ke bachche wahan baithte the history lesson ke baad jo chote bachche apni bhasha mein bolne lage down there at the back of the room old hauser had put on his spectacles and the old hauser whose spectacles remember they were lying on his book and he had put on his spectacles old hauser jo piche baitha tha jiska chashma uski kitab pe rakha tha usne apna chashma pehen liya Holding his primer in his both hands, spelled the letter with him. और वो अपने primer अपने हाथ में लिया था और सारे letters दोबारा बोल रहा था. You could see that he too was crying, and even he was crying. वो भी रो रहा था. His voice trembled with emotions. जब आप emotion रोते हैं, आपके अंदर की emotions से आपकी आवाज में कंपन आ जाता है. You start your voice start trembling. And it was so funny to hear him that we all wanted to laugh and cry. Ah, how well I remember it was the last lesson. और उसकी आवाज इतनी फनी थी जब हौसर बोल रहा था कि सबको हंसी आ रही थी हंसी आ रही थी उसकी आवाज पे और रोना आ रहा था इस दुख के से कि वो आज के बाद आज के बाद वो लेसन नहीं पढ़ेंगे अब उसको याद था कि आज उसका ये लास्ट लेसन है ऑल एट दन दस चर्च क्लॉक स्ट्रक ट्वेल्व अचानक जो घड़ी थी घंटा घर की उसने बजाया बारह बज गए देन द एंग्लस एंग्लस इस बेल होती है जो प्रेयर के लिए बजाई जाती है रोमन कैथोलिक चर्च में and the same moment the trumpet of the prashnan returning from drill at the same time the prashnan soldiers they were returning after their march past and the drills the exercise sounded under our windows mr hammer stood up very pale in his chair i never saw him look so tall ab wo jo ghanta bajta hai yani 12 baj chuke the time ka prashnan soldiers ko wapas aane ka aur isko bahut kharab lag raha tha aaj ki mr hammer khade hote us baat bahut dukh ho raha tha ye uska last lesson tha माई फ्रेंड से ही अः बट समथिंग चोक डिप अब वो बोलने चाह रहे थे लेकिन उनके गले में कुछ फंस जाता है इमोशंस के कारण ही कुड नॉट गो ऑन वो आगे कैरी नहीं कर पाते देन ही टर्न टू द ब्लैक बोर्ड टू का पीस ऑफ चौक एंड बेयरिंग ऑन विद ऑल इज माइक ही रोड एज लार्ज एज ही कुड वाई वीला देन ही टर्न टू द ब्लैक बोर्ड ब्लैक बोर्ड की तरफ मुड़ते हैं एक चौक का टुकड़ा उठाते हैं और दीवार पर बहुत ही हिम्मत से बहुत प्रेस करके लिखते हैं Why villa? Why villa means long live France. Then he stopped and leaned his head against the wall. फिर रुकते हैं अपना सर दीवार की तरफ करते हैं and without a word he made a gesture. और बिना लोगों की तरफ देखे हुए एक indication देते हैं संकेत देते हैं कि class खत्म हो गई. यानी उनके अंदर इतना साहस नहीं बचा था लोगों का सामना करें. उनके अंदर डर नहीं था. उनके अंदर दुख था. School is dismissed. You may go. वो कहते हैं school समाप्त हुआ. तुम सब लोग जा सकते हो आई होप यू पीपल हैव अंडरस्टूड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द लेसन बोथ इन इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी एंड इफ यू अंडरस्टूड द वीडियो यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड लाइक द चैनल थैंक यू फॉर टुडे